World of Tank Blitz, Armored Pants here, how's it going? Have another video for you, don't I? This, this continues our journey of the German Heavy Line. Uh, so now we covered tiers 2, 3 and 4, and now we're ready for tier 5, uh, VK 301H, which is a fucking great tank. Very similar to DW2, just bigger and better. So all the lessons you can use from that, just to go, you have a tank now with better armor and a uh, better gun that does more damage. Anyway, let's have a look at her here now with a Blitzhanger, 301H. Uh, we're going to load her up now, uh, configuration, so uh, what I would recommend is that uh, we go with um, gun rammer um, and uh, we don't um, use supercharge but we will use refile gun. Um, and then we set it up, use toolbox and we will use uh, better optics, use um, improved control for traverse and all that and uh, we'll set the tank up like that. Uh, we're going to assume that you have the top here gun we're going to grind to that 75 millimeter and this is a fucking great gun now unlike guns that we've had before there's no he in it it only fires ap and apcr and that's similar to a couple of other german tanks um, you'll come across but then this is probably the first one like that so um you'll see here that this tank um unlike the kv which is maybe it's a comparable tank in terms of heavies is far more maneuverable uh, it is um has a better reload doesn't quite do same the same alpha damage because it has 75 millimeter gun but the gun is very accurate and it won't let you down and the gun does a lot of damage and um, if you are top tier you can intimidate and bully in this tank if we have a look at the armor profile you can see that you can use the armor in the front of the tank and the gun mantlet and um, to bounce a lot of shots and there's a lot of things in lower tier that won't go through you and a lot of things even in your own tier that you'll be able to bounce uh, shots from. So angle the tank up and uh, never put your armor uh, front on, just ar angle it, trying to make some angles. You can see there uh, from the display, the angles can be quite acute and you'll be able to bounce shots with no problem. Looking at it here in terms of how other tanks see you, um, you can see that in tier five um, and tier four, this tank uh, has a great armor profile. And even if you're up tier to tier six, you'll still be able to uh, bounce some shots there. Um, uh, and tactics here, it says, you know, it's not good for peak and boom, it's not good for front line, not good for hit and run. Um, long range sniping is all it recommends. But in actual, you'll see if you're top tier, you can go front line in this. And um, you can do peak and boom. Um, it's so maneuverable that you can even do circle of death, for example, in something like KB1, which is slower. It does 35 kilometers in straight uh, forward, which is as fast, let's say, as a Shinobi, which is a medium tank. Although the Shinobi is a piece of shit, you should probably keep that in mind. Um, but, you know, this tank is very maneuverable. So anyway, let's roll. And I'd just like to uh, like you to watch out for a couple of dirty tricks that are going to be in this game. So make a note of those and use them yourselves then as you as you play this tank, or indeed any tank for that reason. So uh, sorry I missed the start of this, forgot to record, but nothing's happened yet. I haven't even fired a single shot in anger. So I'm pretty much virgin territory here, so let's roll. I started uh, on the right hand side of spawn where the heavy starts, so I just came up to support my meds and light tanks. And they're up on the hill to the left. So I'm coming through here now. Now normally you never go to base, but I'm just coming in here to engage. Now there you go. I always look for small opportunities. See that? He was only showing me a bit of ankle there, but he's still able to smash him, you know. So yeah, so just you know, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be the sluttiest looking girl in, in the in the bar that's the best, you know. Even the ones you're showing a bit of ankle can be the best one, you know. And look at that there, straight through again. Another dirty trick, straight through. Just because you're behind something doesn't necessarily mean you're in cover, right? See there's a gap there you can fire through. And on this uh, map, you'll actually see lots of gaps between the carriages, things like that. There's another one there in between the engine and the carriage that you can fire through. And a tank behind it, a less experienced player or a player is not aware of it, thinks he's in cover and he's not. And because you can fire through those gaps, you can see my tank through the gaps there, you can fire through them. So, you know, straight through, you know, like a dwarf at an orgy, just straight through, buy your leave, don't even ask permission, just wham bam, thank you ma'am. Uh, and you'll see that I'm going to use that to somebody smash me there for the inside. I think actually I got hit through the gap, didn't I? Yeah, so why was that why was that dwarf or was it or was it the origin we don't know? Anyway, now here I am again using the same thing. That's a combination of the first two tricks using the gap and a very, very small target. And again here this KV probably thinks he's in cover. No, but you see, uh, you get the idea. Just use those dirty tricks, right? Just you know. They think they're in cover, they can't really see me, I'm in cover, I'm not in danger, and I'm just inflicting all sorts of damage on these guys. Another one through the uh, through the drive wheel there, 
So not only am I damaging the KV, I'm also making them burn through his repair kits because he has to repair a kit every time because we're damaging his tracks. So that KV came out there to fire and you can see we have him down now uh, to two shots. Now he's down to one shot because one of my allies was able to push another shot into him. So just there, uh, we weren't in danger. We are just able to come around. I want to clear that KV. Again, very small target right through the arsehole. Freddie Mercury round uh, became a Stephen Hawking round because uh, it turned his arsehole into a black hole. Another round for him there. That's a, you know, another Stephen Hawking round. This little fella here, I don't know what he's doing, just sitting in the open in the light tank. That is a bad fucking idea. Get smashed for his trouble. Now, uh, here's another trick uh, to show you guys when you're firing, um, reverse uh, so that you become an ever decreasing target and make it difficult for them to get their aim right on you and you can see that I took a round from there from that KV but it didn't take too much damage at all I fluffed that shot but not to worry I have very very good reload in this tank I can afford to trade hit points with him now because I have superior hit points because I can serve mine and then this last shot I just decided to snap it because uh, the KV can't get me, uh, he can't get his gun down, and you'll see how good the gun is. Just snaps, bam, wham, thank you, ma'am, done and dusted. Rub dub dub, thanks for the grub. There you go. See that? Only three minutes, almost two and a half K damage. That's what this tank is capable of. Um, and you see there that it was a massive carry for me for the team. And almost two and a half K damage in a tier five game is something that any player can be proud of. And this is what this tank can do for you if played right. Uh, so, you know. Um, now you've come up from the DW2, you have, this, you have this tank, it is a tank that will serve you very well. In my own personal opinion, and you know my view and opinions, they're like arseholes, everybody has one, you don't have to agree with mine. My personal opinion is that this is the best heavy in tier 5. A lot of people that say it's the KV-1, I find the KV-1 too chunky and not manoeuvrable enough. Uh, and that's why I prefer this tank, but the KV-1 by the way is also a great tank. And this tank is very manoeuvrable and the gun is just fucking great. Um, so there you go. So the music was on Our Magic Secret Service from the original soundtrack of the movie, the same name from James Bond, and the gameplay, Shostakovich Waltz number two, uh, for those of you interested. Anyway, take it easy. Cheers, Mush. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers now. Take it easy. Bye, bye.